Now, unfortunately, the reason missile test, directly goes against this. Even though the, there are several Japanese companies which are willing to do business there, are coming to be a bit more cautious. Why did you do that at this particular juncture? I hear your explanation that, uh, uh, you are, uh, why you did that. I hear that it was not against the Indian uh, 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 But why did well, you do if, that? If you part? ask the same question in a hundred different ways, you get the same answer. We will not, you see, my friends, let me, let me stand up so that you can see. You were not the subject of eight years of war where your cities were showered with missiles, carrying, new, uh, carrying chemical warheads, and you did not have a single missile to retaliate so that maybe Saddam Hussein would stop. We went to one country after another begging, begging, I mean insisting, begging for a single Scott missile to defend our people. Begging. Now, you make, you want us to get a few dollars in, to Iran to abandon defending our people. We really hope and wish for a day when nobody will spend any money on any of these weapons. Actually, we're far ahead of many people because we spend a fraction of their expenditure on weapons. But we are entitled to the rudimentary means of defense, which we need in order to prevent another Saddam Hussein around the corner attacking us with chemical weapons. Because the international community has failed miserably in protecting the Iranian people, in safeguarding international humanitarian law. Saddam Hussein became the worst enemy of humanity, not when he was invading Iranian territory, killing Iranians with chemical weapons, but when he attacked Iraq, uh, Kuwait. For eight years, he was people's darling. He was people's sweetheart. Go explain that to the Iranians and tell them for business community to feel nice about Iran, you should allow another Saddam Hussein to attack you. They'll tell you that we don't want that investment, but we are the safest, most stable, most business-friendly country in the region, where the investments will have the highest returns, and these weapons will never be used, because we will never repeat, never, and get the same statement from those who are complaining. Never use them against anybody unless in self-defense, and we're sure that nobody has the guts again to attack us.